I'm using five different colors for this batch. I have charcoal for black, I have paprika for orange, I have white Brazilian clay and purple Brazilian clay, and cocoa powder for my different colors. For the kiss pour technique, I'm going to be doing the Clyde slide down these two containers with alternate colors. Now some people will fill one container uh, and then set that container aside and fill the other pitcher or container. I prefer to do it at the same time so that the fluidity of the batter stay, stays approximately the same between the two containers because if I were to set one aside it would thicken up possibly more than the one that's freshly poured because I'm stirring be stirring you know to keep the the soap batter from getting uh, too thick so I'm just pouring alternate colors now for the kiss pour some people prefer to do it in the longer spouts I prefer to do the kiss pour with the shorter spouts because I find that the colors tend to uh, not tend to uh, not get squished together and therefore like stay separate and not get as muddied Now for the fun part of kissing the two soap pitchers together so that they're pouring as one. I started off in the corner and doing a traveling kiss pour, but I ended up just sticking in the center because I think I prefer just the regular center pour a little better. I'm going to be refilling my containers the same as before and I end up doing this three times so I'm pouring into my soap mold at three different times the same technique um, I wanted to see what the difference would be or how pouring three different times would affect my overall design but I didn't notice any significant difference from the time when I had poured all my soap in two pitchers and poured everything at once
I did force my soap to gel, so it it's the next day and I'm ready to cut it. So I'm just going to divide the slab into three different sections. And right now I'm just shaving off the top, the outer surface of the soap, to reveal the more stark uh, design below. 